Hi there. In a previous video I was seriously slagging off Rigol because of the user interface on this uh, oscilloscope. However, there are some good points to this machine uh, and today we are going to take a look at that. This oscilloscope is sampling at 1 giga sample per second. So in theory it should be able to have a bandwidth of up to about 500 uh, megahertz. Also, if you look at the schematic that David Jones has reverse engineered of the front end of the oscilloscope, uh, there should be possibility of getting signals through to the A to D converters inside the scope uh, with a bandwidth beyond the 100 MHz. Here I have today my oscilloscope and I have a, a frequency generator that can go to uh, 1 GHz. Um, so I will try to, um, to see what is the real bandwidth of this machine and see whether it's beyond the 100 MHz. Okay, so what I have here is the Rigol. Um, it's set with a x10 probe and it's measuring the output from my frequency generator. Um, what you see here is um, 10 MHz and I'm going to write this down and make a table so you can correlate afterwards. Uh, but this is 10 MHz and the peak to peak level is uh, 100 mV. Okay, and now I will change the frequency to 20 MHz like this and the output uh, level measured by the scope is uh, 104 mV and then I will continue like that all the way still 104 at 30 at 40 MHz and we are at 100 MHz and we are at 100 MHz and we are at 80 MHz we are at 104 MHz 90 MHz ok we are at 112 MHz so it's speaking a little bit around there 100 MHz it's speaking 100 MHz it's 104 MHz so now we reached 100 MHz which should be the bandwidth limit uh, for this oscilloscope um, but as I said earlier, it's just, it is sampling at one giga samples per second, so we might be lucky. Particularly since this is the default probe that comes with oscilloscope, which are rated at 150 megahertz. Um, but okay, I'm just going to continue my measurements and see what happens. So 110 megahertz, and oops, the bandwidth dropped to 44 millivolts already, so it drops quite steeply here. Let's go to 120 megahertz and see what happens. We are at 60 millivolts, which is interesting. 130 megahertz. We still have signal through here, uh, which is now 64 millivolts. Um, okay, I'll continue upwards, 140. And we have 72 millivolts. We'll continue up further, 150 megahertz, and we are measuring 72 millivolts again. This is beyond the frequency uh, range of the probe, so we should see some drop off due to the probe as well. Um, but we are getting a higher level, 80 millivolts. Okay, we'll continue upwards, 170 megahertz, and we have. 80 millivolts again. Uh, but strangely enough, the oscilloscope is measuring 40 megahertz here. So let's try to increase the amplitude. Something strange. But let's continue upwards. Okay, let's do steps of uh, 25. So 225 megahertz. We are at 19 millivolts. The frequency on the scope says 25 megahertz, which is indeed very strange. Um, we are also at the very limit on our horizontal uh, scale here. Let's go up to 250. Uh, this is bad now, the amplitude is dropping to very, what does it say, 7 millivolts. We are down in the noise now, look. But okay, 7 millivolts. And let's just try 300 megahertz and see what happens. Eh, it's about the same. Finally, I'll just do a horizontal uh, measurement. We can see the what do we have here that we can measure the period, the frequency, for for example. It says th uh, this one is different. The measurement up here and the little counter up here is different. This one actually says 312 megahertz. Is is cycling between. Uh, 290, 280, 312. 
So that one kind of works, still works at 300 megahertz. Um, so let's just try 400 and see what happens. 400 megahertz. We have uh, somewhere between 5 to 8 millivolts. But the frequency counter down here stops now and it, it doesn't, it, it cannot count. Um, let's go back to 200 megahertz. The frequency down, counter down here is, is doing pretty well. It says it is, is changing between 196 and 200 megahertz. And the amplitude now is about 45, 40, previously it was 52. So it's a little bit unstable. Um, but we can still see signals beyond 100 megahertz, which is um, what I was trying to achieve today. So, pretty good. Um, thank you, Rigor. Uh, I'm really happy uh, with this result. So if they could just change some of those um, buttons here and make them with a click stop, that would really make it a good scope. I have a link under my video to a table that will give you some idea, some multiplication factor, so that uh, when you go beyond 100 megahertz, you can uh, multiply the amplitude you get on the screen with the correction factor. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you again later.